Let's find out what the experts think, shall we? Dickie and Simon, thank you very much for joining thank me you. tonight. And Simon, um, as someone who film, looks at films every yeah. day of your life, what do you think about this one? It's, it, well, it's one of those films that it, it, it's going to have an audience. Um, I don't think Diana fans, Diana lovers, are going to want to see it because I think they might find it a bit sordid. Um, and there are people, markets, America, Asia, I think, who love the royals, who will also go and see this. But to anybody else, I don't think there's a lot in this movie to, to really attract you to it. Um, Dickie, of course, you, you knew the lady, of course, you worked with her, and, and you haven't seen the film yet, but you've been looking at that mini report with us now. Um, what do you make of it? How authentic do you think it is? Well, how authentic can it be? Because at the end of the day, um, Oliver Hirschbegel said a few moments ago, it's an interpretation. Interpretation of what? Interpretation of alleged friends. Well, friends don't talk. So it's all sorts of other strap hangers that um, Diana gathered about her. And you've got to ask yourself, how authentic, how authentic is it? And the answer is not. And the thing is, a film like this is distressing. Distressing to, to Diana fans, distressing to William and Harry to see it portrayed all over again and distressing to to uh, Hasnut Khan. Yes, and he's actually been commenting today. He clearly is not very happy with the film, but he has said that people have been talking, including his own relatives. And I suppose it's a story that wants to be told, doesn't it? It's not claiming to be a, a documentary, is it? And is that OK, Simon? Well, no, it's not claiming to be a documentary. But, I mean, is it really a story that needs to be told? I mean, how would you, if if you went home tonight and everything that happened in your house behind closed doors... Well, I'm not Princess Diana. Well, exactly. <laughs> but, I mean, you, you have point. to... Bring, even though she's Princess Diana, she's also a woman. She's, she's you know, a, a wife, a mother. Um, you can fill in the blanks, but nobody really knows what happened. And it's just... It's speculation. It's just... It, it is... Has been called gossip. And that's what basically it is. Yeah, okay. If a film like this is going to be made, then it's 100 years too early. Um, yes, it's history, but it's not. we don't want to know about recent history. Let's focus on a later on okay. version. Now, the film picks some of the most important moments of the last two years of her life. Actually, maybe even a bit further back. Let's have a look at one of them now on this film. It's all the fuss. Did this field already. An Oxfam worker was killed doing this in the north three months ago. Three weeks ago, that walk would have been impossible. I'd have been blown up many times over. Vicky, what do you make of that? You were well, muttering to me a minute ago. It's rubbish because on the photo call, Dana walked normally. She didn't pussyfoot around the I way think that we've got Naomi the real footage, is. actually. Should we have a look at this? There we go. This is the real footage. So, so she was yeah she wasn't doing what Naomi Watts just did. Yeah. There's no sound to it. So yeah. So so what do you make of that then? Well, you know what you can do with a film like this is that you see, look, you, she, she's walking perfectly normally. What you can do with a film like this, you can recreate the things that are in the public domain, which is what they've done. But they made a muck of that minefield walk, and everything else is sort of make believe. And as Oliver Hirschberger said, uh, Hirschbegel said, interpretation. OK, lots and lots of tweets about this. Let's have a look at some of them now. Um, Simon, um, this is from Dawn Reeves. says, I think they should leave the poor lady alone, let her rest in peace. Louise says, Harry, William Harry will take it all in their stride like they normally do. Um, but Aero Jono says, disgraceful, disrespectful, deplorable, need I carry on? Do you think this could be a backlash against the company that have made this? And maybe even Naomi Watts? I don't think... Well, I mean, Naomi, ever since she was cast in the role, she's always said that it was, you know, she's very nervous about it, right down from playing Diana full stop. To, to getting the voice right, to getting the actions right. Um, it is a very difficult role to play, and people do have a lot of passion for this. So, yeah, I mean, it's it's always it was always going to be a problem movie. And, and Dickie, undoubtedly, the Royal Family will know about it, but will, that, will it impact them in any way, do you think? I don't think, think it'll impact them at all. Um, it's just another film. A bit like The Queen was just another film, and people pays their money, takes their pick. OK, Dickie and Simon, thank you very much for thank your you. thoughts this evening.